this video I'm going to show you how we can use the rectangular marquee tool to make selections. So I'm going to launch Photoshop. And I'm going to create a file. And I will keep the default Photoshop size. I'm going to select marquee tool from the tools bar and as you can see there are many options available but I'm going to choose the rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to draw one rectangle and when I draw another rectangle you can see the earlier rectangle has been disappeared this is happening because my normal mode is selected in the options bar To add to selections, I'm going to click on add to selections option from the options bar. And I want to add some more rectangles to this rectangle. I will add more rectangles. If I want to subtract some portions of this selection, then I will select the subtract options from the options bar and here I'm going to select the top portions of my selection and I want to subtract this portion so I will draw a rectangle on the top side and as you can see the selection has been subtracted I want to subtract some portions from the bottom side so I'm going to draw a rectangle in the bottom and my original selection has been subtracted there's one more option is available in the options bar and that is the intersection and I'm selecting this option from the options bar and what is the function of these options it is actually but here I want a portion of this selection so I will draw a rectangle to select that portion as you can see now only this edge size shape is remaining that's what I wanted to make my uh, selection more noticeable I'm going to fill a color into it so I will choose paint bucket tool to fill the color in it. This time I am going to fill the red color. So I will select the red color and click inside my selection. To make this concept more clear, I will show you a real example. So I am going to open a file. As you can see there is a window in this file the background is completely white and I want to make it more attractive so I will replace this white background with a more colorful and natural background so first I will select the white background from the window so I'm going to select the marquee tool and I will select the rectangular marquee tool particularly for this example and I will draw a big rectangle and I will subtract this rectangle into two Now I will fine tune the top selection by subtracting the portions from it.
now my selection is ready and I'm going to delete this selection by pressing the delete key on the keyboard and I want to place a background file so I'm going to open a background file I will accept the changes so I'm going to click on the tick mark icon in the options bar I will drag this layer to the bottom and I will resize and reposition this this layer according to my need Now to make it more noticeable, to more realistic, I'm going to apply a blur filter to this background image. So I'm going into the filter menu and I will choose the, the blur filter. I'm using Gaussian blur and I will adjust it a little bit. I'm going to apply one more adjustment to this background and I am using hue and saturation adjustment because I want to increase a little bit saturation and I want to increase the brightness of this background so that it will look more realistic and now it is perfect so this is how folks we use the rectangular marquee tool in the Photoshop I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you are new to this channel. Thank you. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds of breathing in